rang the doctors there earlier and uh, said uh, just said I want to see the doctor and, the, and I got the uh, response we're not we're not um, there's no doctor's appointments at the minute yeah you can't see one uh, you've got to go to your pharmacy first and, and even then when you if you can't get help from the pharmacy uh, the best you're going to get is a telephone appointment but even then they're being sparing with that as well so for how much longer are we going to put up with this bullshit I mean to, at what point are we going to get on with our lives and stop allowing this bullshit virus to control us because the way I see it many more people are going to be killed by other things other than this virus and the way it's going there's going to be more and more suicides and people do topping themselves because they just can't face this bullshit covid world anymore how many people are dying from cancer and other things tumors and uh, you know not getting the treatment that they need or going to see urgently go to, uh, uh, to see a doctor when it needs to be caught in time and they're not being seen they're not being treated for things that are, that are probably urgent, more urgent than, than some stupid virus which has less than a 1% death uh, rate when are we gonna wake up? I mean every aspect, it's all about control this Well, being told what to wear, I went to a, a bike shop, Peddlers in Redco earlier and there was a big uh, sign on the door, I was with my daughter at the time coming back from Jump360 there was a big sign on the door saying, please do not enter this shop unless you've got a mask on. And the guy was stood there, I was looking at the sign, and I just turned, I shook my head and just walked away. And he just watched me walking away, he didn't say anything, but... That is totally, it's just fascism, being told what to wear. Um, this is why I'm against this, these masks, it's because it's about control. It's not about stopping a virus, it's about control. How far can they push it? When you replace masks with vaccines and God knows what. For how much longer are we going to accept this shit? It is fashion. We fought against this in 1939. Well, why are we accepting this bollocks being told what to wear, what to do? Stand in the queue, follow arrows on the fucking floor. When are we going to wake up and start standing up against this, man? I had a good chat with my daughter on the way back in the car and I've told her never tell, allow people to tell you what to wear think freely and have, have a mind of your own don't allow people to dictate what you can and cannot do you know I, I'm not for one for putting people at risk I would I would, I would listen to, to but listen to advice but at the end of the day it's all it's all what from one side there's a whole host of doctors out there coming forward and disputing the claims put forward from people like Bill Gates who's not even a medical doctor by the way and then these people are being silenced and censored by big tech it's just not on it's just not on when are people going to realize and, and wake up to what is actually going on how much longer are we going to put up with shit it's, they're on about now this lasting until next summer i mean at what point are we going to kill every single business going there'll be no jobs left or nothing there won't be worth anything worth living for and at what point i mean <clears throat> I, I tried to think what the suicide rates are going to be for 2020 because the way it's going so many more people are going to die from topping themselves to, to escape you just couldn't make this shit I cannot make it on people falling for it hook, line and sinker do some research people look into what the claims that are being made look at how many people have been censored move over to an alternative like Parley um, which is very good by the way and do uh, you know Learn the facts and then come back and don't just listen and fall for bullshit media. They are the virus, the real virus. If we could turn them off, we'd all be doing a lot better, to be honest. I just want to have this wrong because it's just driving me mad. I actually phoned the bike shop. After I walked away, I phoned him up. Um, he didn't answer initially, but he rung me back. And I, I said to him, mate, you're going to lose a ton of money. I was going to spend quite a bit of money in your bike shop. I'm not now because I'm not being dictated to and told what to do. And what to wear it's fascism and he said uh, blame Boris Johnson for that I said it's not, not do with Boris Johnson the police have already said this law is unenforceable you know you shouldn't be telling it's against the law for shops to be telling people what to wear you cannot do it you just can't do it there's no law to enforce that it's not law you cannot do it it's illegal so um, 
I hope he's changed his mind now. Hopefully, he said, "Well, I don't know what to do. Do we do we do do, do we leave it up, or do we take it down?" Or what? I said, "You don't need, mate. You don't need to have a, a, a thing on the door saying people uh, can't come in without a mask on." I said, "You know, what? I'll just walk away. I'll order online now in the future." And I'm, there's loads of people like me, and it's on principle, you know. So I won't be told what to do, what what to wear. So I will order online. So a lot of these businesses will fold. So. Um, it's just a total mess. I don't know where it's all going to end up. It's going to go on for a long time, this. But we need to start standing up against it, start speaking some truth, and stop uh, being told what to think and what to do. And I hope people can start realising that we're being, being lied to massively. Start thinking for yourself. Do some research, people. Come on.